have uh, today the honor to have uh, the deputy uh, executive director of the National Innovation Agency, Ms. Teresa Matawapan, who is uh, giving us some welcoming remarks on behalf of the National Innovation Agency. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, more um, official, <laughs> more official this way. So what you could can uh, let me say something in Thai first. My name from uh, NIA, นะคะสำนักงานนวัตกรรมแห่งชาตินะคะก็มีความยินดีที่ได้มาร่วมนะคะในการจัดงานของวันนี้นะคะเป็นงานโอเปนเทคสมิธแล้วก็งานวันนี้ด้วยเป็นการประชุมวันนี้นะคะแล้วก็ออยากจะเชิญชวนทุกท่านนะคะให้แลกเปลี่ยนการมีดิอาร์ล็อกที่ที่น่าสนใจนะคะก็มีสปีดมาด้วยนะคะก็อยากจะเข้าฟอร์มอลนิดนึง so uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for being here and good morning to everyone so on behalf of the National Innovation Agency I would like to you know welcome everyone for the forum thank you for UNESCO uh, for you know giving such a very good forum and I think we would have a very fruitful uh, event today Uh, so the NAA, just to give you some background, NAA is under the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation, which is a new reform ministry in the Kingdom of Thailand. It's of course my great honor to be here and address this, uh, you know, gathering today. And I would like to, you know, say again thank you for UNESCO for delivering this uh, forum. Um, NAA has focused developing the social business sector, which encompasses both innovation business and social innovation network. The organization has been working to support product prototyping and value added, increase capacity and competitive local communities, reducing inequalities and strengthening social cohesion. So this year is a very good year of social, we call social innovation which is, you know, what we work together with social community and NGO and, you know, international organizations such as UNESCO or UNDP or United Nations in order to work a lot on social projects. And with social innovation becomes one of the strategic priority to our newly established ministry. We aim to engage from young generations to elder citizens to understand social issues and work with civil society and also supporting social changers and enterprises to deliver social innovations and people at their solutions. These will be a social development sandbox and serve to tackle global grand challenges. And of course, uh, you know, since 2016, the United Nations Human Rights Council released a non-binding resolution condemning internet, intentional disruption of internet access by governments. The resolution reaffirmed that the same rights people have offline must also be protected online, and that's why we are here today, right? In addition, internet-related recommendations formulated under the universe periodic review mechanisms are as numerous as those related to the right to food and the right to water, both of which are well-established human rights. So today, the right to internet access also known as the right to broadband or freedom to connect is the view that all people must be able to access the internet in order to exercise and enjoy their rights to freedom to, of expressions and opinions and other fundamental human rights. And that states have a responsibility to ensure that internet access is broadly available and that states cannot unreasonably restrict to individuals access to the internet, right? So this is the reason why internet universality Assessment is important to community, especially the young generation. We as NAA also work a lot with youth and uh, entrepreneurship uh, university in order to use you know, these digital devices or digital instruments of internet assessment. And with you know, all these, it can save a lot of time and money. And often the assessment can be completed in less time and multiple candidates can compete and complete the online assessment at the same time and there's no need for specialized personnel. So we can reduce both the cost and the time using uh, you know, all the dig digital instruments we have. And students are able to take the internet assessment during class and at home to, using their own devices. And in addition, students can get to see their results and answer and instant feedback you know, from their chosen topics. And that helps young 
children, people such as, and also their community of researchers and recruiters, teachers, and uh, trainers, in order to strengthen their uh, teaching methods and ability to, you know, in order to provide more broader uh, audiences. And so from these problems, NAA has cooperated, you know, work closely with UN and several projects as, as such. And of course, we again thank you, uh, Ms. Ito Misago, the uh, representative UNESCO, for co-organize uh, the events such as Open Tech Summits, so that we have more you know, broader spectrums and people gathering and talking together on, of course, open source and, and the uh, internet assessment. And of course, um, you know, with all these, uh, with today as well, so we hope to find solutions and brainstorm the ideas to improve them and enhance the capacity of internet assessment in the society. And through these uh, initiatives, we as NAA and I would believe that the objective and solutions that we would find, you know, uh, could solve you know, more gaps in the countries and of course in the rural area and expand the equal opportunities to our people in Thailand. And um, as, uh, as you know, as such, uh, NAA is very helpful, you know, very grateful and we are, you know, really uh, thinking that if there's anything that we can do in order to support, um, you know, universal access to the internet and, and bridging the internet, the digital divide, just let us know. And you know, with all of you, I've seen a lot of familiar faces, uh, you know, coming from IT industry myself and both government and private sector. So very happy to be here. It's a very close group. So I hope we have a very good, you know, collaborations and talking and please, you know, do share your thoughts, whatever it is, you know, so that we can uh, find better solutions and, you know, work together and, you know, building a better uh, society of the, the internet access. Thank you. Have a good time. Yes, I, I thank you very much, uh, Teresa, for your support to this, uh, to this event, the Open Tech Summit, but also already providing a very comprehensive view of the internet ecosystem, which includes not only openness, which is a very, very important principle that UNESCO is promoting for the internet network, but from the right perspective, but also from the multi-stakeholder perspective, because you are coming also from different backgrounds, IT industry, private sectors, government. So this is why we are all meeting here. Before we move to the to the session itself, I would like also to give the floor to Mario. Mario is the founder of uh, Post Asia, which is the community of open tech developer across Asia. And this is uh, the Open Tech Summit is mainly organized by Post Asia in partnership with NIA and UNESCO. So Mario. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say a few words. So um, yeah, we appreciate very much that you um, come here. And um, yeah, we've seen many events of the UNESCO um, happening all around the world. Um, just like a week ago, there was the um, day for the access to information and um, internet freedom. Um, we participated also last year in Sri Lanka, and there are workshops in Paris and everywhere. So um, I think, like, um, yeah, of course, I would also like to thank NIA for um, uh, co-organizing the event. And um, when I hear to your, your talk, I think it is the right thing um, that NIA um, is part of the Ministry of Education. Because access to internet, it's very important not just to use technology, but actually to understand technology. You shouldn't just use something that maybe comes from another country uh, that is closed um, uh, source code. We don't know um, if they have maybe access to our government's information or to our uh, citizens' information. Um, like um, the countries should decide um, how they implement uh, policies or what uh, do they uh, want to happen in their country. So um, open source for us is a good tool here. Um, because um, we can see the source code, um, every country, you have computer experts, they can look into it, we can understand what's going on. Um, with Force Asia, we are developing software, uh, uh, we also develop hardware now, because it's actually not just the software, it's also the hardware. We need to know and understand what's happening on the hardware. So, um, you see we are very hands-on event. Maybe you saw some volunteers here, they come in. Actually, these are young Thai people. We have 30 young Thai people, they signed up as volunteers and, and they helped to run the event. And this is also how we educate 
people. Hands-on is not just like top-down approach, it's self-guided learning and they allow also to make some mistakes, but it uh, works really well. We have, for example, our largest event in Singapore with uh, 3,000 people every year, so our main office is in Singapore. And um, uh, yeah, it grows, it flourishes, we have hackathons, we have a lot of activities, and we always want to come to Thailand but we're missing a bit the link in Thailand. You know, everyone wants to go to Thailand, but for us, we don't just want to come like some foreigners, uh, farangs, right? Come to come to Thailand and then like make the event because we're interested in um, the cooperation. As you can see, I'm not Asian. I'm from Germany. I already look Asian, okay? So, so I'm from Germany, and um, so I used to organize um, uh, business conferences for the EU. Um, here in Asia, and that's how I came, um, like more than 10 years ago um, uh, to Asia, and not just like Southeast Asia, also Central Asia, different countries, and, um, and that's how I came here. And of course, it is just a good experience here in Asia because, as you know, young population, it's growing and, and, and everything. And um, yeah, back in the days, we had a lot of startup conferences. Actually, I remember meeting Artit, uh, what was it, Artit 2008 or 2009, something like that in Singapore. And um, so a lot of things happening, and I'm really um, excited that um, this trend of like startups and so on is still continuing here in in, um, in Thailand. And we have now this wonderful building. We have the, um, the the yeah the first CEO of this building who designed this building yesterday at the conference, and we had a panel together. So this was so nice because um, this building symbolizes the openness that we also want to achieve um, on our code with open source software. So. Um, it's many levels, and I'm really um, happy to see so many participants and your interest, and I hope you can cooperate more in future. Unfortunately, the co-founder, Hong Fook, um, she can't be here. She is at the, um, I, I think, like, I will also make the contact with her later. Um, she is the co-founder, so it's not just a project of some foreigners, um, but actually it's a global community, and like, for example, you saw Mr. Wita, he's from Singapore, so a lot of people come to the event and fly in from all over Asia, and uh, yeah, let's do more in Thailand. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for being part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. So if uh, we finish uh, the workshop earlier enough, you can also go to visit all the track and uh, you know all the workshop downstairs happening in the, uh, within the Open Tech Summit. So before uh, I move to the formal presentation, maybe I can just uh, give you the flow so that you can introduce yourself where you are coming from. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Chaplin I come from the Digital Economy Promotion Agency. I work on the Digital Manpower Development Department. We uh, enhance the capacity of the workforce in Thailand to be equipped with the bright digital skill so we can create a competitive mass for our industry. <laughs> I'm Simon Ellis, I'm the international consultant working on the Thailand Internet Infrastructure. Yeah, my name is Kondo, Asamori Kondo. Uh, I'm a deputy secretary general of uh, Asia Pacific Telecommunity. As I understand that uh, uh, you, you guys uh, you guys are basically coming from Ministry of Education. But uh, our organization's uh, focal point in our region is basically Ministry of ICT. And uh, our organization covers uh, up to Iran, from Iran down to uh, eastbound of, of this region. Then, uh, since you may not know about APT, uh, APT is an inter international organization, uh, intergovernmental organization in this region, specified in ICT. And uh, our headquarters are located in Bangkok, so I am living in Bangkok. And uh, let's see, what well, our function is to discuss about the like, frequency allocation and uh, stand, standard, standardization of uh, in internet and some other ICT, as well as uh, to support ICT development in this region. That's me too. Yan Yong Teng of Hawaii. I have uh, uh, today for the Thai Network Information Center about Asia, PhD. Uh, we take care of the Thai network. Okay. I, I used to work with the uh, uh, University in computer engineering. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm Nancy Yellowwood and I'm from, I'm from Dotorai company. So Dotorai is the 
only I can accredit it with this one in Thailand. So we are the dominant registration. So it's provider. Good morning. Chat Chai Sutame from Electronic Transaction Development Agency. We do uh, promote uh, electronic transaction to stand up security and law. Ajit Tsu Yang Bun Kap, part of the uh, pilot uh, project for the uh, Internet Manual Society here. Good morning, I'm Marco Kulatam Yong Ting. I'm a chairman of the Thai ISP Association and also uh, an uh, internet and power service provider in Thailand. Farid Banjo from National Statistical Office and from the uh, Economic Statistics Division. We have the responsible on the survey and success of internet ICT using in uh, household and uh, experiment. Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Vishan Churan, a statistician uh, of National Statistics Office. Good morning, Sarah Kinabung from NSO. Supaphon Arunak Sambad, Director of Economic Statistics Division. UK and also Faculty of Journalism and Mass Communication to the Dark University to be honey and not just start the program on the Open tech subject, so that's why I just attend for this motivation for me. Good morning. I'm Kim Horn from NGO in uh, Try and Use Media Foundation. We promote the media and information and digital literacy among the children and youth in Thailand. So good morning. My name is Wen Pei Chen, alongside uh, on my right side, uh, We are from the Government Public Relations Department under the Office of the Prime Minister. Um, the Public Relations Department is the Thailand's national communication and information organization, and we act as the chair and secretary team for the. Uh, UNESCO Thailand Communication and Information. Uh, thank you very much, UNESCO, for uh, inviting us to this event. Thank you. So she actually, um, she, uh, she's already introduced me. So good morning, everyone. So I I'm Luck, or easier, let's call me. Again. I'm working with my executive director here. Okay, so good morning. My name is Chen Kiva Kikuyan Kuyan. I'm from BGA, Ito Government Government Agency. We do a lot for the government of Ito Government Agency Thailand. And then now we have some survey from the Ito Dating Agency and Government Agency also. And for right now in Thailand, we have a lot of political comments a lot. So next week, uh, I think we have some conference and talking with the private sector with the group to maybe let's form the idea from the public sector. So this forum, I think we can gain some information and some idea from you. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Ken Ongsi, I'm from the Office of the National Digital Economic Society Commission as a policy unit for developing the Thailand digital economy. So we have a good morning to you all. Uh, I'm Rana Chakma from National Innovation Agencies in charge of the International Relations Department. Good morning, I'm Samara Sukai. I'm from the Office of the National Digital Economy and Society Commission, the same uh, agency with Mr. Tomsi. Good morning, I'm Good morning everyone, my name is Mikhani, I'm from Internews. Uh, Internews is an international non-governmental organization. We are working uh, empowering and raise awareness on the, the digital rights. Morning everyone, my name is Kamara Hitcha, I'm from the Nesta Bank Good morning everyone, I'm Tisada Shochun from DJ, Digital Government Development Agency. Uh, 
I have retired from Force Asia. Uh, I have uh, been in Force Asia for a couple of years and running some of the open source projects. Yeah. Yes. Thank you again. <laughs> Yeah, from Singapore. Thank you again for all your participation.